So Jurassic World Rebirth is getting closer day by day and as we eagerly anticipate the latest trailer for the brand new movie, things are starting to release publicly. And by release, I don't entirely mean officially, I mean more the fact of rumours and leaks. These things typically happen in the Jurassic franchise, but the leaks or rumours that I want to talk about today are very concerning. So if you guys weren't around for the Jurassic World Dominion days, during the four year process between Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and Jurassic World Dominion, we got heaps and heaps of leaks, new images, data, everything for this movie and what to anticipate. And understandably, a lot of those leaks actually didn't even come true. Sure, there were some of them that confirmed dinosaurs such as the Giganotosaurus and Pyroraptor, but ultimately, those designs that we kind of got a brief concept of, they didn't really appear in the movie. Sure, the Giganotosaurus was green, and it was kind of showcased as green in the leaks, and the Pyroraptor was red and blue, but besides that, most of the other leaks just didn't really come true. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are in that era of Jurassic once again, when a brand new movie is coming out, and we are starting to get some really crazy weird leaks and rumours floating around the internet. So I must state this right now, these are merely rumours, but not really anything to go off. I just want to talk about them very quickly, very briefly in this video, because I feel as though it can't really go as something unnoticed, especially considering that some of these posts have acquired over 100,000 views over on Twitter. So I just want to quickly talk about them. As always, as you can see, we are at 240,355 subscribers currently. So if you want to become a Jurassic fan, all you have to do is press that subscribe button. Nearly 250,000 subscribers on this channel, which is incredible. Hopefully in 2025 we can hit that target. We have Jurassic World Rebirth, Jurassic World Evolution 3, Jurassic Park Survival, and Jurassic World Chaos Theory Seasons 3 and possibly 4, all releasing in one year. So be prepared for 2025 by subscribing to this channel. You won't regret it, I promise. But as for today's video, let's get into the leaks and rumours of Jurassic World Rebirth. So over this week, a few new images from behind the scenes of Jurassic World Rebirth released unofficially, so I'm not going to showcase them here in the video too much. Um, but the first one I do want to talk about is something that actually looks like a very cool and iconic Jurassic Park Jeep. Now it is going to be blurred for you guys, but I think you can kind of make out the image. Um, this looks like a very high-end and professional photograph taken, so the fact that this is a leak and not an official image kind of blows my mind to be honest. I'm surprised that an image like this was able to get online so perfect. It's in great quality, it must be like a 4K or 2K image of some kind, but it's crazy good. It showcases the new in-gen logo that we're taking a look at, the brand new Jurassic World logo, and also kind of the Jurassic Park color scheme here where we get to see some red, some beige, and a little bit of gray slash blue. So that's a pretty cool looking vehicle. Again, you might not be able to see much of it, but go on Twitter, you can probably find it. But it's a very cool looking vehicle and it's kind of Jurassic Park and Jurassic World mixed. It looks very, very well put together. Furthermore, some brand new images that depict some new looking Jurassic World logos kind of like stickers, seem to showcase the original T-Rex, but also some new dinosaur of some kind. It looks like a very small herbivorous dinosaur. It's very hard to make out exactly what dinosaur this could be, but going down and checking out the community and what they're saying, a lot of them are saying that it's something called an Aquilops. Now, I've heard of Aquilops before, I've seen Aquilops, they're very cute, <laughs> very small, and apparently this is supposed to be some kind of a pet dinosaur, so it seems likely that maybe Aquilops is confirmed in Jurassic World Rebirth, but again, take this with a pinch of salt because this is supposed leaked photographs from Jurassic World Rebirth, these are nothing official to go by, so again, don't go headfirst into all of this information just yet. But if this is true and anything to go off, it seems like Aquilops might be making its debut in the Jurassic franchise. It'll be very interesting to see how this dinosaur will play a part in the movie. But now, you guys are here waiting for my concern about these latest leaks. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, they're, they're bad. If you've been on Twitter lately, you know exactly what I'm on about. So about two months ago, I actually went ahead and explained how we could have human dinosaur hybrids. And a lot of people did not like that idea. Well, considering that there is a mystery hidden from the world for decades in Jurassic World Rebirth that's being uncovered, a lot of us were speculating what exactly it could be. And I said, I won't be surprised that they do try to touch up on the human dinosaur hybrid aspect that we narrowly avoided from Jurassic Park 4 that never happened. If you guys are unaware, basically, the whole script was about fusing human DNA, dinosaur DNA, and bringing them together. And in that video, I basically said if they were to bring it into the franchise, I won't be totally opposed to it, as long as these specimens are not alive and breathing. I don't mind if they're like in an embryonic chamber, dead, you can kind of see the, the failed experiments, for example. I won't mind that too much, as long as we don't get to see them on screen. 
Well, these latest leaks and rumours, ladies and gents, seem to confirm some weird-looking dinosaur-human hybrids that may return from the John Sayles script of Jurassic Park 4. Now, before we get into this, these two leaks, specifically these two images I'm going to talk about, come from two people that typically, you know, have gotten a lot of things wrong in the past for Jurassic World Dominion and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, so on. So I wouldn't really say it's too much to go by, but I think it's enough to address just in case this is true. Again, we're going to go into this assuming that it's 90% false, no fact here whatsoever, so I think you should do that as well. But just in case, just to prepare yourself just a little bit, we're going to talk about it. The first image here shows a photo bash of the Mutu, Muto Kaiju, I think, from the Godzilla franchise, and what looks to be the original Jurassic Park 4 human dinosaur hybrid head, uh, kind of mashed together. And apparently, this is supposed to be the villain dinosaur that we know is going to happen, thanks to the Mattel toy leaks that kind of quotes a villain dinosaur for Jurassic World Rebirth. Apparently, this is what it's supposed to somewhat resemble. Now, I know if this is going to happen, a lot of fans, myself included, are going to be extremely disappointed and probably angry, to be honest. I, I love the idea of human dinosaur hybrids. I just don't want it in the main cinematic timeline. Go make a spin-off that doesn't take place in this timeline. That's fine. I, I'll watch the movie for the laughs. But we kind of want to take Jurassic a little bit more seriously and we just want to see dinosaurs. This thing, whatever the fuck this is supposed to be, <laughs> I can guarantee 95% of the audience does not want to see something like this, and it's kind of brought the community to concern, let's say. Furthermore, there's another crazy, wacky-looking image right here of... I, I don't even want to talk about it. Just look at it for yourselves and gather your own opinion. Now, again, ease on the edge of caution here because the people who have posted this, they've got a lot wrong in the Jurassic franchise previously, so I wouldn't really get too upset. I just think it's worth talking about it just in case this might come true, because there is still a little bit of viability there. Not a lot, but still a little bit. And either way, I think it's important that if this is true, it'll be a big deal to see how the fans will react to all of this. But why should we not believe these leaks or rumours whatsoever? Firstly, it's just people randomly throwing it out there and saying that this is going to happen in Jurassic World Rebirth with absolutely no background or sustainability whatsoever. So it's not really something to think, oh my god, this is going to happen. But then again, not everything is false online. Not everything is true online. You know, you kind of got to weigh it up a little bit. However, an interesting article that released, I think a couple weeks ago on Empire Magazine, kind of confirmed that these leaks should not be true in any way whatsoever, merely because of what Gareth Edwards, the director of the movie, decided to say in the article. In the article, he went ahead and said, there's something kind of mythical about dinosaurs, yet so real. The fact that they really did exist means you can't dismiss them as a threat. When other films try to scare you, you can fob them off and say, well, there's no such thing as monsters but there's something very primal about dinosaurs. Where Godzilla was tougher to sell as a specific threat to the lead characters in that movie, Edwards explains that dinosaurs present an immediate and direct peril. So with that quote alone, I think it's safe to say that these leaks isn't really anything to go off. I mean, sure, there is still a chance, there's always going to be a chance, but based off everything we know, I think there's like a 90% chance this isn't going to happen. And... I think it's just me hoping it's not going to happen as well, because if it happens, man, I'm going to leave that cinema very disappointed, I can tell you that for a fact. If you enjoyed today's video, feel free to press that like button, and don't forget to head on down to the comments and basically voice your concern if this is ever going to happen. But again, stay calm, there's no need to be worried at this point in time. Let's just wait until we get that trailer for Jurassic World Rebirth and see what they show us. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, but most importantly, make sure you're all staying safe out there, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Hello, hi, you. Did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here, as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.